Hey everyone, Austin here with Real Seal, back again for another Shop Talk video to talk to you about what's the difference between polyurethane and epoxy. Now when we're talking about polyurethane versus epoxy, we're of course talking about foundation crack repair. Foundation cracks, just minor waterproofing ones, not the structural ones that require piers and helicals and polyjacking, which we talked about in previous videos. The foundation cracks we're talking about are simply little annoying leaks. A lot of these cracks are formed at time of construction due to shrinkage of the concrete as it dries, maybe some initial house settlement that didn't turn into anything major, or you have stress points like an I-beam or at the corner of windows that cause that concrete to crack. Well, the way we fix this, if you've seen our previous videos, is to inject an epoxy into that void of the crack all the way to the back by the dirt where the foundation ends and all the way up and down to fill the entire void. That epoxy will bond with either side of the concrete and stop water for life. And that's why we put a lifetime warranty on these repairs. But there's a big difference between our repairs and some other repairs you may get out in the field. The main difference is we use epoxy versus the polyurethane that is used widely in the industry. Now there are a few reasons why contractors choose epoxy versus urethane and vice versa. First, the epoxy you can recognize as being a two to one mixture, while the foam is generally a one to one mixture. I don't know why that is specifically, however, that's how it tends to go in the industry. The main benefit to epoxy here is that epoxy is stronger than the urethane. It will bond better and hold for longer in your foundation. And on top of that, if the worst happens and that crack leaks again, it's easy to re-inject. If you have the urethane and you have to re-inject this, you can't. Because of the foam and all the cells, it becomes very, very difficult, if not impossible, to re-inject one of these cracks. So if the company has to come back to do it, they're likely going to charge you to dig out the foundation from the exterior and redo that repair, which is very, very costly. On top of that, it's not very strong. They use it because it's easy. It expands and it expands and it expands where the epoxy does it. And because it expands, you don't need to get a good enough seal on the crack. You don't need to do as well of a job in order to fill the whole thing up. So it's easier to train technicians. You can pay them less. And so they like to do that because they see it as making more money. We see it as a lesser repair because it doesn't hold as long and it usually requires a follow-up repair. So that's why we use the epoxy. If you ever hear the excuse, well, it allows for small movements in your wall, your wall is not supposed to move, small or otherwise. We have frost lines and foundations that are to be poured beneath those frost lines for this exact reason. If a sales rep comes to your house and says, we use polyurethane so that when the wall moves, it's good, say, stop, why is my wall moving? We need to fix that. And you need to call a qualified contractor. Best contractors out there, will use the epoxy because they know it lasts the longest, it's the best solution, and it is what is best for the customers. It's the best solution you can find for fixing foundation cracks, comes with that lifetime warranty. We have tons of info on our website, and if you have any questions, as always, you can give us a call over at The Real Seal, where you know not everything's better when wet.